Welcome to Pagan Crafting. I'm your host, Kara. Today we're going to look at Bone Casting 101. We're going to make a set, design a set. We're going to lay down the meanings. We're going to cast it. And I'm going to show you how to do some readings. I'm going to have some different ways we can rock it out through what we, you can cast on, whether it's freestyle, leather, cloth, you name it. We're going to play with it today. Join me today for some Pagan Crafting and let's have some bone fun. So the supplies that you're going to need today are bones, 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 lots of bones, any kind of bones. And if you don't have bones and a Sharpie pen, well, my friend, what you could use is wooden beads if you want. You can find those colorful beads we used to use in kindergarten to string up big necklaces, those long slender ones carve into them draw on them paint on them and seal them same goes for using twigs branches little things like that will work out super cool i can't source mammal bones as well as i can i found these little guys i source them out through a local trapper so they're ethnically sourced they're little toe bones all the other bones you see here are turkey neck bones they're all from christmas dinners and thanksgiving and easter dinners now these are bone beads so just as I was talking if you can't find um, bones or you don't eat meat you can't collect bones or source bones I found these at a local bead store just in the local grab bin so these were like I had a little two two by two inch baggie I could fill up for five bucks and then I picked all these little special ones out. I don't know what I'm going to use them for. I, I'm really excited. I just got them about a month ago. I'm going to use these. Oh, it should be four of them. These four of them uh, that are going to use for the elements. I kind of dig on that. I got a little extra one there by accident. And oh, there it is. And the, this long brown bone I'm going to use for the self bone. I'll explain what that means later. So I thought these would be really, really, really cool to make a bead bone throwing kit without having to clean the bones myself, carve them, shape them. Whew, they're already there. So I just got to apply some meanings to them. So I'll keep you posted on what I'm going to do with those bead bones. Now, I just recently posted a video here on how to paint your own bone set. Again, I'm using here turkey or uh, it's pretty much all turkey bone. I have one wishbone that's chicken. And these ones, that one is for darkness. This one is for the light. Uh, space, this is for goals and flying out to meet your goals. This is past influences on the question. And this one is transformation and changes and the others anxiety stresses and worries and one of these two is my cell phone and this one I cannot remember at this time we're gonna keep moving on this is for spiritual this one is the cell phone so all bones that rock in coordination in relation to it and how they lay down when I throw it down, that's what I'm going to use this self bone for, is what is going to mean in the reading. It's going to, how it's going to lay it out. Now, these are the other items that are in the set. I'm not going to go through all the meetings again with this one again. I just made a video on how to make your own bone set for painting. You can check that out. And I, I have all the detailed meetings to each of those pieces in there. 
I have metal, bone, and wood in that set. That is very important to me to have that. Now what I've done here, I've done a little description with the meanings. I just printed out a little stack that I can write down the object and with description right beside it. We're going to start off with the yes and the no. And we're going to do a yes and the no not only in the toe bones but also in the neck bones. I'm going to use one, one bone and it's going to have two symbols per side. So it's going to have, uh, depending on which way it lays, it'll have a design that way. So let's start off with our toe bones. I first start off, I was just looking at them and I was wondering, I think I'm just going to pick the biggest one. And then I, I want, it wound up taking a while to choose them. I didn't realize I was starting to vibe with them. Some of them, I didn't, didn't want it. Some of them didn't want to be with me. Uh, I let them know what I was going to be doing with it and I narrowed it down to these three so it's kind of weird I took a little long time picking them out but I decided to film that because when I was working with the bones I was already starting to ask some questions like which one do you want to be yes or no and they're like I don't want to be anything so I just kept like oh, alright I'll keep looking now what I'm doing here is I'm throwing the bones down and I was wondering if every time it fell the same way it would point up but it didn't so I'm going to choose with the bones pointed upwards all going to be yes as i you see here in the full thark runes the viking runes i chose i will only work with full thark runes because it has a fuller library of letters for me to work with and i also prefer the meanings of them as well there's no there's yes they're so tiny they're about an inch long now I find mammal bones a lot better to work with than bird bones. They're sturdier, hardy, and they're gonna last much, much longer. Already on my table, you see some white flecks on my tablecloth, and that is from these bones here, the neck bones. So they are some little bits and pieces that will chip off from time to time. So you could clear coat them and lacquer finish them when you're done. I would like to lock or finish mine. Right now we're in winter time when I'm making this video, so I'm going to wait till summertime or springtime, and then I'm going to clear coat them all, and then I hope that'll seal and harden the bone as well for me. Just playing how they roll to make sure that it's going to do what I want it to do. I'm going to use one side each of the neck bone. So I wanted to see, I was kind of throwing them down like dice to see how they're going to lay down. If they're going to lay down the same way every time, then these aren't the right bones for me. It's like cheating at dice or something. So I'm doing a yes and a no again. My next one, I really want a really good flat surface. Take your time. Now, I've, what I did with these ones, I didn't bleach them and I didn't use any chemicals. I used peroxide and water. It's been a while, but I believe it's two parts peroxide, one part water. Leave it in for, I mean, you only need a few days to a few weeks. I'm usually a two weeker. I like that 10 days to two weeks. Then it all just brushes off with an old toothbrush like butter and it's gone and you, you don't have no boiling and baking and cleaning and baking again and putting it back in and oh my word i had to add these on here so this is the sun and the moon so i'm using the divine feminine and the divine masculine for the readings for those now i'm not necessarily using male and female in that reading i'm using divine masculine and divine feminine because there are some different choices out there nowadays and we may have or some days i may feel a little more masculine i got my come up and so someone's messing with my family or i'm gonna be a little more feminine at the other days so it all depends on your mood of the day is how i'm gonna lay it down now we're using the baby rattle here. This represents birth and the past. The scythe for death and the future. And the snake represented wisdom 
and the tree represented the ash tree of life for growth this little nice envelope represents messages and communications to come rocket in the house here this represents family and relationships And the heart, of course, is for heart, love, and partnerships. The key being for opening doors and new opportunities. And the star is for spiritual. And later I also add the symbol for non-binary. spiritual souls man now the mountains for me represent goals dreams and aspirations I need a good surface for this when I have a larger piece I wound up redoing this one I didn't care for how it turned out but the shamrock represents success and finances And the bee honeycomb represents work and career. Now my last four pieces are for the four elements. I'm using, I'm a tarot card reader. So I'm using the tarot card symbols as well as a triangle and circle symbol for earth, air, fire, water. This is the pentacle for earth, water, air, and my last one being fire. The, with the wand oh it's so cute and the little sword and it depends on the relation and how they fall or how else it could look what it could mean to that particular reading so there we have it didn't seem like as many. I'd like to add a little bit more to my collection, but I think that's a good start. That's as many symbols as I could come up with for now. So this is my first little bone symbol set. I'm liking it. I think this is going to be fun and easy to read. Uh, I think I'd like to add some more symbols to this set, but I, I reckon it's a good start. And I'm going to use my yes and no toe bones separately. Now what I like to show you here is different ways of items that you can cast on. This is a wooden board that I made recently. Here's the video link here up above. And you can learn how to make that board if you'd like. This one reads in the past, peasant, future past, present, future, all along in the rings. So it depends on where each bone lays. I got the beehive here in the present, and that's super cool because I got the healing hive in the process. I'm gonna work on the path of the pollen this year is one of my things I'd like to try. And this here, you can also learn how to make this throwing. This is a piece of leather. You can also use a nice cloth. I'm just going to use charms here so we can look at something a little bit differently. I have an opportunity here. I've seen I got the bullet and maybe I got an opportunity for love. Maybe I have a little, ooh, I got the little wheelbarrow. Maybe I got an opportunity for love and bury the ex in the backyard. And I got new beginnings of love here. Ooh, there's a guitar pick with emotions. I'm being serenaded with new love. Get rid of the ex, shoot him in the head, bury him in the yard. New beginnings, emotional coming on. That's a great reading. 
Let's see what else we got here. You can also cast on fur, so it can be freestyle. Doesn't need to be any words on it at all. Whatever stays on the fur, you read. Whatever comes off the fur, you don't read. Some people read it if something jumps off out of your hand first. Off the fur, you read that one as like the main one. So it depends on your preference and just go with your gut and go with your instinct and have some fun that way. Another way you could use is simply paper. These are the rings, past, present, future as well if you'd like. You can put in your own words, which I will provide you here. All these sheets you can find on my Etsy store. I'll put down a link down below so you can find that. But you can write down power words here in each of the different little pie pieces. And with that, you can choose a few words, all over. you don't have to fill it up. You could use this chart yourself. You can make your own. You can use as many or as little as you'd like. There is endless possibilities. It is wonderful. So this is a little roadside trip one you could use. You can bring this with you. You can lay your bones or charms on here, depending on where they lay is what you want to read. So anything that falls off, we don't read. What do we have here? We have a little bit of moon for transformation. Oh, we have wisdom and transformation. Excellent. I'm moving so fast here. I have fire under learning. I got my ass and gear under fire. I'm spiritual learning. I'm going to the next level of some more spiritual learning. That is really cool to see because I'm really hoping to take sound therapy lessons this year. Oh, cool. So here are some of the other sheets that you can get with the package. I have about 10 sheets um, for super, super cheap. I just want everyone to be able to use them more than anything. So they're digital downloads. Here are some other ones I printed out. This is my exact formula for my red leather raven casting throwing cloth that i made and again here's the cloth here so this was the exact layout that i used and then i just added my own designs the raven and the the star constellations around it so i just added some extra ones with the package and again you can lay out your own words here's the template for the past present future one this one's really really cool you can just cast do you want to know what the, in springtime, the next three months, what's happening? Or here's a freestyle one. Just keep it in the circle. Whatever comes out of the circle, you don't read. Let's go over some more ideas here. All right. So some different ways that you can read uh, when you're doing some casting. I'm just going to use charms for this because I want to use, I just like aesthetically pleasing and visualization. So I'm gonna, I like to use different charms all the time. So let's just lay these down for a quick moment. So it depends where they lay. Again, anything that's on the outside. Oh, my mud bunny one. I remember that one. Anything that lay outside, you don't read. So let's just pull off all the ones on the outside. Now anything on the inside is what we're going to read. And you could read whichever direction suits you best. You can go from a left to the right, and you're going to read from a past to the present, and then to the future. You could read it kind of like a linear, or you can just read it in like bars going across the board. Okay, so another way to read, let's just pull off. Oh, that's too bad we didn't get to read this card. Queen, a little queen card. Ooh, we'll save her for later. So another way to read is in groups and how things are in relation with each other. So let's have a look here. So this one's by itself. This is a group, oh, it's, but this one, you could choose this one to be a group or you can choose to take this one and I, I'm almost, I'm kind of feeling, but it's not touching the, the gun, so I'm not quite feeling it. 
yet these go all in a row i feel that these are a group and yet not touching yet all the other group is so again different ways if you wish to read now let's go back to the winter spring summer and autumn So these, again, pulling off of the ones that are either, you can choose the ones that are not upright or the choose ones that are, I'm taking out the ones that are in the center and ones that are on the outside. So now I can read what I have coming up for spring. What do I got coming up for summer and autumn? Mm -hmm. Lots going on here this autumn and winter time. I'm feeling that. So this is what we could do. You can break it down into quarters. Now let's just break it down into halves now. Maybe we might break it down into just a winter and summer. You may want to look at the next six months in advance only. You could also look at the halves as a past and a future. As you can see, each one are going to quarter and each one are going to three months periods. Each half is six months. So you can just read one half. So depending on where they fall, you can just read just a little bit. Just that little section of the one month that you can break it down even by months if you wish. You can even break it down to an astrology chart. Aries being the first, Taurus being the second, Gemini the third, and so on. Aries being the baby, the firstborn of the lot. What's going to happen to you if you have some ones that fall down there? There's so many different ways that you can play out and while you're doing your casting and reading. Now your past, present, and future can also go any direction that you like. You can read it going straight up or you can read it going from left to right or if you wish right to left now this one's a super cool one to use this is your conscious and the bottom half is your unconscious. Conscious is your facts, your feeling, your true influences. Your unconscious influences are your urges, maybe your instincts, maybe things that we're not aware that is influencing us. Now let's break it down again. We got the past conscious. We got the pa past unconscious. We have the future and then we have the future and so on again. Again, there's, depending on how the charms lay out, you can play it out. It is a, so much fun, so many possibilities. Now this one I just started using um, with charms maybe a year ago, super recent. Think about the chakras. Oh. However, the charms or bones fall on each chakra. Maybe that's what you got to check. Say, what do I need right now? Show me what I got. Reach in and drop it. So we have the, the crown, the third eye, the throat, the heart, the sailors, the sacral, or the solar, and the root chakra. Let's have a little look here. Woo! I got some sun magic with the heart coming in here. We got some flight, some bird magic coming in. Ooh, the throat, seashells, communications coming in here. A lot of growth in my sacral. I'm not sure what that says. A key to opening up doors. Those ones don't count. And hey, I got some love coming in here. Wow. Loving it. So that is four different ways that you can rock a bone set. Again, if you don't have bones, you don't want to use bones, stick again around. For I have some No Bones About It coming up here, some videos. 
I'm going to do some shell divination as well as some vegan friendly divination. So those of you that can't source bones, don't like bones, don't want them, can't get at them, we'll find a way for you. Beads or wood works just fantastic. Throw me down a like if you like this video. If you want to see another one, ring that bell, subscribe, and I will see you on the next video and have yourself a magical day.